Hello. Welcome to Miss So Light's Tarot on Miss So Light. How y'all doing? I'm glad y'all came back. And um, I thought we'd do a collective reading for the, uh, you know, check in on how the energy is on the full moon day, you know. It's a pretty trippy day, you know, like it's kind of overcast today and the energy is like, you know, thick. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm feeling pretty good today. How y'all doing out there? I just thought I'd check in with everybody and, you know, just see how everybody was. And, um, you know, last read, I wanted to apologize for that. The light was like in my eye. So <laughs> I was like drained. It was like just taking all my thoughts away and everything I wanted to say was just like, I couldn't think of like shit to say. Like I had these facts in my head, but like what I wanted to say about like, <laughs> you know, the Gemini moon coming in and everything and man, everything was just escaping my mind. Cause that light was just killing me. It's kind of killing me right now too, but I'm trying to get used to it. It's just better for me if the light is on so I can see and um, trying to get used to it being on and trying to be on camera too at the same time. You know, I really don't care about being on camera, but you know, I'm trying to do something new and at the same time be able to focus more on reading the cards and, um, get more information out there at the same time so i hope everybody is enjoying their day and you know getting through things um with ease and coping and shit like that you know just chilling just you know trying to go through moments with ease and anyway let's just jump into check in on what the energy is you know, it's the holiday season and um, we're wrapping up Sagittarius season and moving into Capricorn season. And, you know, that could be a big shift for people. Um, it's a whole different kind of energy and all these moons are, are I mean, all the moon is changing and these transits are around and, you know, big shifts are happening. So things are changing for people and let's just get into see what the, if the tarot has to say. Um, I had pulled the card, but I'm gonna do it over. You know, Wisdom Oracle. So we're gonna see what's going on with the, with the Wisdom Oracles. Let's see what they have to say. I'm always gonna be positive and be optimistic on things, but we're gonna just see what really is going on, okay? The ancestors and spirit guides. But let's just see what's going on today in the collective energy. Hey, why are these cards going to like stay together right now? They're all together. Alright, I'll take this one. Looks like some regeneration could be happening. Like maybe some things might be starting over. That could be a good thing. Could be a good thing. Could be a real good thing. Super match. Tell me more. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looks like a uh, ace of wands, creative new beginning, and offering, passion in new beginning, maybe. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, rushing in with that. 
it may be what, to an air sign or an air sign. Let's see. It involves an air sign. Uh, what could that be? Some justice that's been stagnant or hangman Pisces uh, during the Pisces moon right now. I don't know. Someone who's in a situation that was in a stagnant situation. Hmm. Someone's been stuck. Definitely involves some air energy, some, oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay. I was just gonna ask for more on this Ace of Wands. And I got this uh, uh, Seven of Wands. So that could be Definitely more uh, fire energy. But stuck. Stagnation. On something that might have been dead. But there is a regeneration, a reconciliation maybe. Incoming message. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Let me see. Tell me more about the offer. Tell me more about someone was left out in the cold in this situation. And here comes a little, here comes a page of pinnacle. Offer. So it's just a general message. You can take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Nine of Cups. Mm. Oh, more on the uh, King of Wands. It's made a judgment about a past situation, having some nostalgia regarding um, a Knight of Wands, an in and out situation. Okay, so you got the Knight of Wands. You got the King of Wands regarding judgment um, with the Six of Cups here. So you got the King of Wands, the judgment, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. All fire energy, except for um, the Sagittarius energy. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Sagittarius with the judgment. And you got um, water here with the Six of Cups, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio there. Okay. And this is all in the Knight of the King of Cups and the, I mean, the King of Wands um, and the Sagittarius with the judgment. This is about the King of, the King of Wands has made a judgment about a past like a second chance about a past situation, uh, maybe where he was in and out on a situation. And it looks like when he was stagnant in a situation, that overall, okay, this is what it looks like it was on the bottom of the deck, okay, and it's overall like a Sagittarius, okay, and he was slow thinking about this decision, if you really want to know. And overall, it looks like overall reconciliation, okay. This is a synopsis of what this is overall coming to, if you ask me, okay? And it, it, it's slow moving, not fast. What stagnation on this, okay? But it has been decided this is overall about, this whole thing uh, is about regeneration on something that was dead maybe. And it's decided to, okay, Make an offer, maybe toward an uh, an air sign where he was like defensive, but he's decided he was stagnant on this before. But he, uh, you can see the reconciliation here. He's been thinking even more. 
and this has been decided. Okay, Collective, I'm going to do an extended reading on this. If you'd like to know more, then follow me for the extended. And thank you so much. And if you found something in this video that you felt you could resonate with, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for um, watching my video. And remember, no problem is deeper than the ocean. Take care now. Bye-bye.